Hello, this is Bern, and if you notice that you keep attracting men who are bad for you, on today's video, I want to share with you why this happens so you can start making better choices. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, a space where I share how you can attract the man and the relationship you want as a result of being the best and most feminine version of you without the need to play gimmicks or manipulate in any way. Now, if you've noticed that you keep attracting men who are horrible for you, if it's the same dude with a different face time and time again, and when it happens, you feel super excited and then it crashes and burns. And then on repeat, here's why it happens. The first reason why I've seen that happen is because many women confuse arousal and intensity for compatibility. If you feel high intensity towards a man, and if you experience that sense of butterflies in your stomach, it's easy to tell yourself the lie that this dude is compatible with you. Which leads me to my second point. Sometimes in your attempt to create a sense of compatibility, you project a fantasy. And you do this by the way you speak to yourself and the way you speak to other people in your life. For example, if you connect with a guy, you start feeling that intense connection slash chemistry slash arousal slash hormones flowing and you start looking for ways in which you guys are similar, you will tell yourself that you just met the most amazing man, that you have so much in common with him, that he's incredible, even though it may not be true. So you're in fact projecting a fantasy to fit into the idea that this guy that you want to connect with is similar to you so you can make things happen. Now it's obviously something you don't do consciously but you need to be aware that this happens a lot because when you tell yourself about a guy that you don't know that he's the most anything that you've ever met that's reason to stop and say that may not be true. He may appear to be that guy and maybe he'll prove me right but uh, right now it's just a hypothesis. Number three Many times, we human beings are attracted to what's familiar. Even if what's familiar is horrible for us, it represents abuse or pain. Let me share with you what this means. If you grew up in a household, for example, where you experience harshness from your, and criticism from your dad, and maybe your mom was drinking too much, those two things that you experience, those two experiences create in your heart, in your nervous system, the experience of love. So in other words, what feels familiar to you is painful. Your definition of love is unhealthy, not consciously, but unconsciously. Sometimes you encounter that subconsciously in another human being and you say yes to them, not despite the fact that they're bad for you, but because they're bad for you, because what's bad for you feels true, feels like love, which is why it's important to learn to recalibrate your picker of men but this is why it happens many times. Number four, it's what I call hunger syndrome. Sometimes you haven't had a lunch for three weeks and someone presents to you a crappy hamburger that is badly cooked and is filled with toxins. Nothing against hamburgers, some are great, but some are not great. <laughs> McDonald's, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, let's say you eat one of these McDonald's hamburgers <laughs> and you find that is not what satiates your hunger, but you have to eat it if you haven't had food in three weeks. Many times your mind enters a scarcity mindset. You haven't had what you want for so long that you hunger for it, and the first alternative that's semi-viable for you, you go into it full force and again, convince yourself that it's a great option even though it's not. Number five, a lack of understanding men, a lack of knowing how to translate the actions and words of men into the reality of what's happening. Sometimes guys show you through their actions that they absolutely don't want commitment, but you don't know how to interpret those actions. So if a guy treats you in a way that's kind and looks at you into your, deep into your eyes and says the right things, you might feel that he's on the same page that you are. that He's looking for the same kind of relationship that you're looking for without ever asking him what he's looking for, without ever looking at the way he treats you and others to decipher if this is a guy who wants commitment or simply wants a good time. 
So if your hypothesis he wants commitment, but the reality that you cannot translate in the moment is he wants a good time, you're in for a world of trouble. Which is why it's so important to A, of course, learn to decipher how men show up when they want commitment, the things they say, the things they're willing to do, but also your ability to courageously, even if you're shaking, ask the right questions, including what are you looking for in a relationship to a man so that he can share with you his vision and you can then, by the way he shares it, both verbally and non-verbally, you can say, is this in alignment with what I want or is this different from what I want? And if it's different from what you want, instead of convincing yourself that he's gonna change, you're gonna make him change, that he's, uh, that he's gonna think differently, then just to cut your losses and run. <laughs> Sixth, inability to gauge your blind spots. It's a big one. What does that mean? Sometimes you have ways of connecting with men, ways of being, ways of attaching to human beings, ways of communicating that are not optimal or far from optimal for creating a relationship, but you don't know it. It's like the guy who, think about it, there's guys who drink a lot, who are by all professional accounts alcoholics. But if you ask them, are you an alcoholic? They'd say, no, I'm not. I just drink for socially. And they're clearly alcoholics. They're drinking every night, several drinks, slurring their speech, <laughs> getting drunk, and they still don't consider themselves alcoholics. They have a blind spot. Now, not saying that you are an alcoholic, you have blind spots that you haven't recognized. So you go into the world and you go into the world of connection with men. Sometimes your blind spot is you attach too quickly. Sometimes your blind spot is you don't know how to ask questions. Sometimes your blind spot is you don't know how to set boundaries. Sometimes your blind spot is you're attracted to guys who remind you of that dark energy your dad had, but don't know how to identify them soon enough, even though your subconscious is speaking up on them. There's many blind spots you could have. And if you don't identify them, you're bound to repeat again and again, a relationship that's unfulfilling, unhealthy for you without the ability to see and know what's happening, which is why it's so important if you've noticed that you've done the relationship thing for far too long and are not changing the way you wanna change, even though you're getting new insights through watching videos like this one, that you ask for help and you get help. So if you find this is helpful, useful, and insightful, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing on the first link in the description of this video, I've put together a training that will guide you into entering the best relationship of your life so far and understanding how to do so with a lot less pain and in a lot less time than you've been doing in the future. What you can do is click on that link, enter your name and email, and I'll guide you through that training right away. If you like this video, click thumbs up or like and <laughs> subscribe to my channel. Share with me in a comment what you learned from this video. Last but not least, if you want hand-holding and accountability and help in a way that none of my videos can give you or none of the other people's videos can give you, if you want hand-holding and help, the second link on the description of this video will allow you to apply to work together and find out if, we can, if I can help you to create what you want in a lot less time. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always, I challenge you to live a full and conscious life.